when people see the big questions in life, they seek answers. That is just what the writers of Genesis did. In the past, they told stories. The biggest story concerned the topic of broken relationships. First of all, between humanity and God. That's the story of the Garden of Eden. Not trusting the word of a loving creator and letting the serpent tell us what to do. And this is the origin of sin and death. And what about the creation and the relationship of man and woman? How they came to be, the earth creature, the high Adam from the high Adam, the earth creature from the earth. And then we have the Aza, the helper, the helpmate, that God, God's self is called the helper, the Aza of Israel in Exodus 18, verse 4. The sadness of the story and the broken relationship, it happens after the beautiful mutuality and friendship of the two in the garden. When Adam blamed Eve, Eve didn't blame Adam to her credit. She blamed the serpent. And the serpent didn't have a leg to stand on. So, patriarchy entered the world as original sin. Isn't that interesting? Patriarchy and original sin are linked when equality, the equality of the first creation story is not recognized. What about the relationship between humanity and creation? You shall earn your bread by the sweat of your brow because the earth, the good earth, wouldn't yield its fruit. The earth, the flood, nature itself rising in protest against human sin human neglect, human selfishness. We only have to think of the cyclone that hit us. These are not the result of God's punishing. These are the result of our own selfish actions. What about humanity against humanity? The Tower of Babel, where the nations are told, go out, don't go up, spread over the face of the earth. The origin of languages, that's another thing that's being explained. What about man versus man? Interesting that humanity put brackets around that word and then around the word man because it lies at the heart of that word humanity. That's, again, such an interesting topic. The story of Cain and Abel, the first human being born after Adam and Eve's creation, kills his brother. Cain, Cain, I have acquired a man, says Eve. Canaan is acquisition. Abel Hubble is just a breath blowing out of the story so very quickly. And then Seth, the line of Seth, from which the Israelites came. War is killing. We see it today in the war that's going on between Russia and the Ukraine. What about ourselves? The division, the broken relationship one feels with oneself feeling of guilt and shame. Again, shame of nakedness. It's an interesting one, that one, because the beautiful, <laughs> the Hebrews loved word plays, and my favorite line on that one, um, the serpent was very knowledgeable, smart, cunning, and people wanted, humanity wanted to know knowledge. Arum is the word. And instead of getting knowledge, what happens after eating the fruit? 
they suddenly find them naked. Any child could have told them that. They had no clothes. Remember the story of the emperors? The emperor without any clothes on. <laughs> oh, dear. And, of course, the beautiful. Our room, they seek and they find they are arumim naked. They want to be shrewd and find they're nude. Big deal. But that's the heart of these Genesis, early Genesis stories, the broken relationships, the failure to trust, and the consequences. But don't worry. The rest of Genesis has got a lot of hope emerging with the story of Abraham and the consequences of Abraham's faith are with us today in Judaism, Christianity, Islam, and other faith-seeking people.